It's lonely on this side of the island And it's lonely in this little heart The noise in my head can break the silence Cause it's ripping me apart And I want you to fight The beautiful voice that you're hearing is a Trinidadian artist who is spe featured in the Spotlight Project Part 2. And to discuss more of that and the endeavours of Music TT, this morning I am joined by a Zoom by Mr. Martin Riemann, the Director of Music TT, and Mr. Daryl Gervais, the Executive Producer of Project Spotlight. Gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Good morning. Morning, morning. How you doing? Thank you very much, not just for joining us, but for continuing this endeavor, because as the name says, it is project number two, which means when it's nice, you do it twice. Let's find out what the first round of the spotlight was like and what were the learnings that took us to the second part of things. So Mr. Gervais, as the executive producer, do you mind leading us in that discussion? Um, yeah, no problem. So so the the first spotlight project, I mean, I think it was an amazing experience. We we had the opportunity to work with six very talented artists, um, superb creatives, I would say. Um, and we did a, a, an EP project, which was basically um, fusing their Caribbean sound with, you know, world music, pop music, um, and just preparing it for like the global market. Um, I think the, the the group, the bunch learned a lot in terms of their musical development, getting them ready for the world stage, you know, um, the business side of things. Um, yeah. Okay. And in that case, uh, Mr. Riemann, please explain to us then the process through which they were determined as suited for the program and as well featured on the uh, first vision and perhaps the second. Right, so uh, morning. So Project Spotlight is a, a project of uh, Music TT, which is the division of um, Creative TT. We fall under the Ministry of Trade and Industry, and our goal is to really help um, um, export, really develop the export potential of the music sector. So Project Spotlight is an artist portfolio development program where we have open calls. We invite artists, interested parties to apply. And we provide different sort of training courses in areas such as um, artist promotion, development, um, things of the music business, vocal coaching, et cetera. Uh, so the project spotlight itself is actually, this is actually the sixth um, iteration of it. But along, along the lines came the idea of not just training artists, but creating a product, uh, the project spotlight EP. Uh, the major idea is to create a project uh, re focusing on recorded music that we could develop primarily looking at synchronization, um, getting songs into movies, films, etc. The thing is, the music industry um, locally, um, we have previously, at least in the last 20 years or so, we focused almost exclusively on live music, uh, really built up our live music sector. But as the pandemic showed, that live music sector can be badly affected by a situation such as such as this. So one of the goals of Project Spotlight is to put the pardon the pun, put the spotlight back on the potential for recorded music, which is still a serious uh, revenue generator. In fact, um, music sales uh, worldwide are up by about seven percent. This is like the sixth year of of growth. There's some areas like Latin America where we see a fifteen percent growth. And as I'm sure Daryl can explain, the synchronization sector, the getting your music in a film, a TV series, especially a video game, can actually be far more lucrative than right. getting it on, on the billboard charts or so, which, which is still also a worthwhile goal as well. Of course. 
Of course, of course. We will forever be chiming in for that proper category on iTunes and the Billboard charts as opposed to being part of reggae. Uh, there, we absolutely there, will be doing uh, there, that. There, yeah, there is a category already on iTunes, but I'll just say it's it's complicated. Um, but, <laughs> yes, on, 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 but on the Music TT site, on the resources, you can find the correct tags if you want to tag your music as soca or Calypso or world music. Um, you can find the category codes and do it, but it's a little bit complicated as iTunes is the only music store, online music store that supports these sub subcategories. There are right. 70, 70 other stores and they essentially, they, they don't have those categories. So it's a, a far wider project. Well, and well, we are in some discussions with Billboard magazine. Uh... About, um, I was just about to say, it sounds like the it sounds like the next project is already underway in terms of having those dis, those discussions and being able to help them categorize us better elsewhere too. So I'm not worried about that yes, at yes. all. <laughs> yeah, we need to see a we need to see a Caribbean music chart. So we 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 working, working. Mm. Now, as you mentioned, a Caribbean music chart, it did stand out to me that the artists who are featured on this spotlight project too, and even the previous one, were as uh, you described. Vivi, more world music yeah. of sorts, so more popular mm -hmm. music. Yeah. And is that particularly because we are looking at perhaps pairing them with uh, scripts to movies or film, perhaps? Any particular reason for going along this vein? Well, um, what I would say is this. What the artists sang on the, on the records is really their preferred genre to work in. You know, you, you, one might think because it's it's a bunch of Trinidadian artists, they may have done Soka and Calypso. But we are we have so many talented individuals here. Um and they 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 listen to different types of music. So their preferred genre, some of them um were pop, some of them were R and B, some were alternative, some had, you know, a strong Caribbean influence. We had one Calypso artist. Um my main thing with with the with the EP was making sure that everything was commercial enough to be able to be placed, you know, sync synchronization wise, um, and just having a, a global appeal in general, using their own their own specific styles, but um, right. but just making sure it's palatable, you know, globally. Totally, no matter the genre, yeah. And I mean, we know Trinbagonians like salt, we and everything. We can sing any genre, we have the talent. And of course, with the training in the program, it's not just about being in front of the mic, but also the actual marketing therein, the behind the scenes week, as you were saying, Mr. Raymond, yeah. which I wanted to get a little bit more info on because we have an industry, as you rightfully said, where a lot of the spotlight goes on the live music productions. And we still need to get our sound engineers up to par. We still need to get our management teams up to par as well. So if someone looking on is interested in joining the next cycle, so to speak, how do we become a part of this project? Well, um, Music TT holds open calls uh, twice a year. We just had our last open call in October. Um, we have another open call coming up shortly. Just follow Music TT on, on social media, um, Instagram, etc. Look out for the next open call. Um, as, you, as you mentioned, the, in terms of the genres, um, we actually not seeing a lot of persons from the Calypso and Soka area applying. It's it's open to everyone. Uh, we really encourage all the co members to take advantage of it. Um, and of course, if you want to go further in terms of education, um, I'm also associated with the University of Trinidad and Tobago, where we do um, uh, degrees in digital media, or if you want to up your audio engineering skills, etc. But the project spotlight on the music TT focuses on, I would say, more like short courses. Right. Uh, more short courses, specific training in, in, in different areas. Uh, well, one thing I'd, I'd like to mention, as Daryl said, um, Trinidad and Tobago is unique in the Caribbean in that we have uh, the widest variety of musical genres. Mm -hmm. um, just like we have the widest variety of, um, um, the widest ethnic diversity in the Caribbean, the widest biodiversity. Uh, something about being at the mouth of the Orinoco maybe gives rise to this, but Trinidadians really are adept in multiple genres um, and wherever you might, everything from um, speed metal to hip hop, but of course, soca, calypso, chutney, we are, we are there. And especially the world of pop music, 
Mm-hmm. Um, you have to remember everyone from Billy Ocean, Mac and Katie Kitsune, James Lloyd, Tony Wilson with Hot Chocolate. Mm. You know, so the list um, goes we on. are trying to, yeah, the, yeah, the list goes on. So <laughs> which, mm-hmm. whichever I love, I love how Juve is chiming in in the background. Mm-hmm. 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 Nah, because you will know first hand yeah, from the no, experience of working with these artists. Yeah? Yeah? yeah, yeah. We we really are a melting pot. And sometimes you would hear a vocalist from Trinidad sing and you would doubt to yourself sometimes, you know, like, is this a Trini? But we are literally everywhere. I think sometimes, and I say this to a lot of my clients, the only difference with us and the rest of the world is sometimes we are not located in the place where the opportunity is. I think that's really a deal, just location. You know, are you you put a Trini, you put a Trini in, in a room, with, and I've seen it because I've been in those rooms, um, you put us in any room competing in any studio, we will stand out. We always do. It's just that we don't live there. Mm. They live there, you know, and the opportunities with a thriving industry is not here, you know, and we're trying to build that here. You know, well, but, I was um, just about to say, with Music TT yeah. and these sorts of projects, the lot of which we will see more of as the year unfolds, we will take Definitely. care of that whether or not you're able to physically be there or we're doing it virtually or even in the case of sending mm-hmm. contingents abroad to represent an expos or even other festivals we will see the red white and black flying high we have no doubt in that and we applaud you for continuing to make sure those opportunities are possible so our viewers will be able to visit the music tt website and social media pages to learn about the next mm-hmm. Uh, open call to become a part of it. But any parting words, gentlemen? Perhaps we will have Mr. Raymond first. Yes, um, as I said, the if there's one thing the pandemic has shown the world is highly connected. Um, and I take Daryl's point of sometimes you have to physically be there, but now it's just important to get your music there. Um, I always tell local artists, you know, if um, someone here doesn't like your music, there are at least 7 billion people else mm-hmm. in the world who will like your music. It's a matter of of getting it of getting it to them you know so um think local act global that's that's the key i like that i like that yeah. uh, mr jv anything to add to that i i before we leave i would honestly just love to encourage a nation to support the music support the artists um you know it costs almost nothing to support um go stream the project spotlight you know, one and two, you know, it's beautiful music. You would be proud of your 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 people. You definitely would be. So go support it. Project Spotlight one and two. Project Spotlight one and two are currently available yeah. everywhere music streaming happens. So go to everywhere. your favorite sites, download, play, stream and share as we continue to say thanks again to Music TT and their endeavors for making sure the spotlight shines bright on us. We go to a break. We come back with more on in our morning show right here on TTT. Stick around, guys.